Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden here drawing this cute little kitten. I just love this pose. So I'm just kind of roughing in the shapes here really quickly. And I'm going at three times the speed and voicing over here. Let's get those body shapes and the general idea, the gesture of the kitty. And remembering that less is more. Lots of extra lines at this beginning stage, but that's okay because they just kind of blend into the background once I start putting the darker li lines in and they add life and movement. Fussing over the ears a little bit too much maybe. And putting some lines in here to help me place the eyes. So now I'll just start darkening up where I want to keep the lines. Really being selective what lines I want to have. Just trying to shape the face here now and get some, get the eye sockets in there so I can place the eyes in there. So they look convincingly like cat eyes are supposed to look, but not perfect, of course. Just kind of feeling things out. This is where I really slow down is when I get to the eyes. A little bit small, but I'll darken up around the edges because I want it darker on the edges and I'll keep my lines on the outside of the edges. Makes the eyes end up looking a bit bigger. Cute little triangle nose. The classic M on the forehead, tabby stripes. Yeah, fussing over that a little too. It's okay to fuss, but don't fuss so much that you get frustrated. You know, it just it take it comes with practice to really realize what you need to fuss over and and what you can let go. Because we don't want to interfere with that with the beautiful impressionistic look. And if you fuss over everything, that's what will happen. But there are certain things that you want to be different. Well, choose wisely. Listen to your gut feeling. Those lovely little toes in, just a suggestion of toes. And there's one peeking out the back there too. I love the tabby lines by the eyes. It almost makes the cat look like it's wearing little glasses. And it's just part of my style, I guess. It's totally up to you to find out what works for you. I hope you take what you learn from me and make it your own and allow it to help you develop your own style. Just a hint of tabby stripes. Tone them down a bit in some places. Erasers are great for that. I love to hear from you, so please drop me a comment. Tell me about your cat, where you are in the world, what you want to learn about cat drawing. A lot of times that's where I get my ideas. Just about near the end here. Whiskers. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.